egotastic fun time. No, that's great, that's great. Yeah, just put those uh, pickle jars right over there, Alejandro. And Cheston, 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 can you turn that, can you stop for a minute, please? I gotta record a video. Hey, gang, what's going on? Cheston, I said stop it, please. Stop or you don't get paid. We'll have to make other arrangements. No, I cannot. I am a virgin in that way. Not for long. Hey gang, I'm JP and welcome back to Talking the Orville on Egotastic Fun Time Trading Cards Edition. Like I said, pardon my dust. I've been working hard the last couple days all by myself. Well, with Cheston and Alejandro. We're getting things ready so that we can have the new Egotastic Fun Time put out more content, put out some exciting streams, and also do card videos Monday through Friday. Oh, oh, pack 17. Okay, so I got everything set up here so we can do an impromptu card video. Don't worry, you guys, I'm getting stuff all set up. I'm getting it all figured out so that we can have higher quality videos more often, uh, higher quality streams, and higher quality Quality trading card videos. We gotta open up pack 17 today. I took my bed out of my uh, bedroom and I'm moving my, I'm resetting up all my computer setup and my camera setup and my background setup. I'm getting it all redone, turning my living room into a studio apartment and my old bedroom now into uh, a studio of sorts. I'm gonna do what I can. I can finally have my air conditioner running without it blasting into the microphone, so that's nice. A lot less sweaty videos. There'll still be a little bit of sweaty videos because I'm morbidly obese, but you know, what you gonna do? Go on a diet? <laughs> oh God. So let's go ahead and open up pack 17 on a beautiful Monday. Gotta be very careful. Now I'm really hoping to get some specialty cards, you guys. It's been a long time since I've gotten a specialty card, and I don't have very many. I have like four, I think. Uh, otherwise, I got a lot of base cards. I went searching the other day for some Orville cards so I could buy some random packs, because you never know what you're gonna get out of a rando box, right? Nobody has them, from what I saw. I mean, I didn't go to everywhere, but you know, the two places I went didn't have them. So let's see what we got today. Card mode activate. Junk, junk, junk. Oh, there's John and Kelly. First card of the day. Ah, oh, nice. Krill card. Every day I'm krilling. Every day I'm krilling. Now, of course, I think I might actually have this card already. This is in the krill episode uh, when they're all sitting. I think it's at the beginning of the episode. They're all sitting there uh, having, you know, their lunch or their dinner. Well, it might be breakfast because uh, Gordon's drinking a beer. Um, and they're talking about uh, Alara's sex life. Isn't that a fun topic? Oh! Into the fold, you guys! And I'm sorry, I'm still working on uh, lighting and all that stuff. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit. Well, it's not gonna be a little bit. At some point today, I'm gonna have this all done. Because I still have some other videos that I wanna make today. When Isaac is uh, stuck on that planet and he has to take care of Ty and Marcus, and uh, they're walking around, I think he's just about to uh, throw their little toy up in the air and shoot it, or maybe he already did. That was a tone-changing episode of, of season one, when really it's like we, we, we got to into the folder like, oh, they could do some really serious uh, episodes with this show. This is from If the Star Should Appear, when Alara goes up to that uh, stupid dude that's trying to keep control of the people in the bio ship. He doesn't want to know what's going on. That was my favorite episode until Mad Idolatry. Surprisingly, not a lot of people talk about if the star should appear. That was an amazing episode. That blew my mind. They came across this gigantic bio ship. I mean, that bio ship, go back and watch. It was amazing looking. Turns out Liam Neeson built this beautiful bio ship. They can grow a forest. They can have generations of people living on the thing, but they couldn't fix the engines. They were adrift for 2,000 years to the point they didn't even realize they were on a bio ship. So that was a great episode. Mind blowing. Oh, about a girl. This is right when uh, Bordis comes in. Uh, John, Gordon, and Ed are having their little Western thing. Uh, Bordis comes in and says, Hey, make Claire, make my baby girl into a boy, please. Captain Mercer, you're the captain. You can make her do it. And Ed's like, No, I'm not going to have her do that. What Whatevs, dude. Into the full. This is that dude that Claire killed. She made his life go bye bye. And that was actually very controversial. Claire 
Uh, that guy wasn't hurting her, though we don't know what his motivations were. He was keeping her, getting her primed. Uh, eventually he was gonna get crazy. You could just tell. People don't kidnap people to keep them safe like that, where they, they're not allowed to leave of their own will without eventually it getting further and further until he starts doing some weird stuff, okay? Uh, Claire understood that. She knows how people are. I knew how people are. She put him in a position where he lunged at her and she uh, killed him to death. A lot of people are like, what? She killed people? That's not Star Trek. Well, no, it's not. It's not, St this is the Orville, you guys. This is the Orville. And um, you know that guy was gonna get crazy. Let's not let's let's not pretend, okay? That is the last card of pack 17. I think they might have all been doubles. I'll have to go back and check. I still I have a lot of organizing to do. We've opened a lot of packs. I have a stack of cards now. I wanted to go buy uh, not the official Orville. I don't have a lot of money, you guys. All the stuff that I'm doing here is just crap that I've had for years. I'm just setting it up more better okay i wanted to go buy an album with all the, the the little sleeves so i could put all the cards in there and organize them by episodes i'd love to get the official one but i'm gonna wait i'm just gonna go buy a cheap knockoff until then just so i can keep my cards nice and fresh and organized and i can say okay i got everything from this episode oh we got a whole base set boom it's time for the raffle we'll put some egotastic swag in there as well oh! So I thank you for going on this journey with me uh, <laughs> while we're in the, while we, while me, I'm in the middle of getting everything set up in a new fantastic, egotastic way. So I know my videos always look kind of different because I'm always trying to find the sweet spot of a setup and now that I have an entire room that I can dedicate to uh, egotastic videos, uh, once I get it all set up, hopefully it'll be sweet, it'll be something where I can... Uh, do a variety of type of videos with the nice camera. I have this nice setup. I'll do a studio uh, video where I show you guys what I've done. I got this really cool setup that I, I, I found this thing for like five bucks, this metal little shelf with holes in it at Walmart yesterday. And I was like, ooh, I'm gonna buy that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I think it's supposed to be like a monitor raising type thing where you can you know, make your monitor higher up in the air. But it had all these holes in it, so I was able to screw uh, my camera to it, my microphone. I have this other stand that I bought that's right here. You can't see it right now. So I can take my camera, just pick it up, put it on the stand over here. I could do stand-up videos, like the normal type of egotastic fun time videos. And then I could take it, put it down here, use it for streaming videos, live videos, uh, card videos, sitting at my desk videos, because I wanna do both. I wanna have a little bit of variety, but have it be easy, not have to do a whole setup each time, which is what I've been doing. So now I can do a sit down, let's talk about stuff, let's get real type of video. Put it over here, do a, got the cool backdrop, uh, fancy video, you guys. So. Things are getting set up. I still got some other videos I want to put together today while also working on this. I have to take apart this entire uh, treadmill and it's really hard to take apart. It's really hard to put together, but I got to take it apart just so I can move it out of this room and really get this place set up nice. So you guys, thank you. It's Egotastic Fun Time right now is a work in progress as we improve the channel. We build it. I finally have the time to really get this thing set up the way that we want it uh, for the game streams, for the live shows, for the regular episodes, for the sit down and talk to you type of episodes. Uh, so I guess I could say, Egotastic Fun Time under construction. Boom, that's what I'm talking about right there. It's like, Pfft. okay, that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about today and I talked about it. How about you? Are you getting your card packs built? Are you getting your sets? Do you have the album so you can put all the cards into the sleeves? Are you building your own studio right now, free of charge? Just using all the stuff that you already have around the house to build a studio. Why hasn't the Orville been renewed yet? Well, it hasn't been canceled and I got a little bit of updates on that. I'm gonna start working on that video for tomorrow, you guys. So you can let me know what you think by joining the conversation below. And thank you so much for liking, sharing, supporting my stupid show. It really does mean the world to me. I'll see you very soon. And as always, I hope all your times our egotastic fun times. Love you, bye bye! Egotastic fun time, we're gonna have a great time. Egotastic fun time, give me all your money. Give him all your money. You will find me funny. Just give me money. I love money. 
Give it all your money! Give it all your money! Give it all your money! Give it all your money!